start working on your job, one of the big things you're going to do on your first day of work is think about how you can make it work. One of those forms of thinking about it is called the W4. And that is for an employer something you can mortgage money to withhold from your paycheck to pay your federal and state taxes. Those, those deductions we saw uh, in your pay stuff. Uh, it comes with the form W4 this year. It looks very different from the one from previous years. The idea is that the employer's has what would have to be deductible to take out more money than it was supposed to. And that way you wouldn't get hit with a surprise bill when you filled out your taxes in the spring. You would usually, nearly everybody would get paid refunds when they filled out their taxes in the middle of the year. And it's kind of exciting to have your check in the mail, but at the same time, it's kind of the government paying back money that they took and borrowed from people with no interest in the first of the entire year. So the, the new Form W-4 is designed to help your employer and the company take the right amount of money so that when you fill out your taxes, it's going to be as correct as it has been. Let's see how that works. Uh, let's take a look at the Form W-4. Or, sorry, the Form 34. Uh, it's more complicated than it used to be because they're trying to be as accurate as possible. But one of the things you'll see is on page two that for the first time, job holders, uh, it's not going to be any more complicated to fill out. You've got a real bare bones uh, amount of information that you need to do. So let's take a look at that. So here's the W 4 form. Uh, it starts out with you putting name and the address and your social security number, which is always very important when you're filling out these W forms. Uh, down here, it wants to know your tax filing status, whether you're single or married filing separately. Sometimes married people want to file as a joint. Uh, that turns out to be the best case if you have something where uh, one of the married people is working and making a whole lot of money and the other person is working part-time or maybe being a stay-at-home parent or something like that. Um, and what it gives them the ability to do is to kind of average out their income so they get uh, better tax status when they do that. So that's why married people would sometimes file separately and sometimes file jointly. Uh, another choice here is head of household. So head of household is the choice if you're like a, a single parent doing most of the job of paying for raising your children. Um, so most of you, as you're getting started, are going to be filing single. Uh, down here in step two, it talks about whether you have multiple jobs where your spouse works. Again, the idea here is that uh, the more information you give your employer, the better they're hopefully going to be able to do it, estimating the correct amount of withholding from you. So you just kind of read through this, and there are worksheets, which are you know separate things that you can fill out like this. Um, you want to read through this carefully, but as a first-time job holder, none of this is going to apply to you. Uh, down here, we're going to claim dependence. So somebody is dependent on you if you are putting a roof over their head, putting food in their mouth, and things like that. Um, if most of you are probably dependents right now of your parents, so that's going to be um, something that, um, you know, that you're not going to find yourself a dependent. So you read through here the number of qualifying children under 17 by $2,000 and the number of other dependents you have by $5,000. Make those two calculations and add them up to the sum here. Uh, you're just going to put down zero at this stage in your life. Uh, and then down here in step four is other adjustments. So if you're working other jobs where, uh, you know, like if you are a rideshare driver or something like that, and you want to throw extra money towards the government just to make sure that, you know, if you know something that you're not sharing with them about how your taxes are going to be. Expect. Um, you can put in these things, but again, um, as an entry level worker, um, we're just going to stick a zero there and let the rest of this slide. And then down at the bottom, 
you need to sign and make a form, and then your employer is going to put down some information about that, and they're going to send this to the IRS, and they're also going to use this information for their own tax, um, you know, their own withholding calculations. So that's the idea behind the W-4. It's nothing too complicated about it, uh, but, uh, well, at least if you're a simple living person, as your life becomes more complicated, um, you can take steps in here. For instance, uh, they have this website that you can go to that really accurately holds you. Um, this form also comes out with three or four pages of documentation behind it so that you can uh, do really accurate calculations. Instead of on a scrap sheet of paper, you're going to use it on pages three, four, and five, and then it'll become a big But this is the basic way the W-4 was assumed. This will give you enough information uh, to get through the squeeze action. 